Hi everyone, I'm Miss Lisa with the Wayne County Public Library and today for our early literacy tip we're going to talk about alphabetic knowledge. And this is actually going to build on the last early literacy tip I mentioned, which was dialogic reading. So if you remember, dialogic reading is simply having a dialogue with your child as you read through the book. And we mentioned the acronym PEER, P-E-E-R, Prompt, Evaluate, Expand, Repeat. So for alphabetic knowledge, it's the ability to name letters and distinguish letter shapes and identify letter name sounds. So as you're reading with your child from time to time, you point out uh, letters in throughout the book. Now noticing that the same letter can look different like an uppercase and a lowercase that's the beginning step for letter knowledge. So uh, for instance when you're reading through the book you point to the letter G and you can trace the letter with your finger and as you talk about the letter you can point out how the same letter can look different. Let me give you an example. So we're going to use uh, the book LMNOPs. It's written and illustrated by Keith Baker and it is published by Beach Lane Books which is a division of Simon & Schuster. So in LMNOPs, this is what we call in the library a concept book because it has the, the uh, letters of the alphabet through it. And this is a very simple one uh, to start with your alphabetic knowledge with your child on. So let's look at the letter G. As you're reading through the book you can stop and say this is the uppercase letter G, and you can trace it with your finger and let your child trace it as well. And you can still point out the lowercase letter G, and I know it's small, but you can trace this one as well and let your child trace it with their finger. And you can notice that it's the same letter, it just looks different. Now, this doesn't really come naturally if you're not reading what we consider a concept book. For instance, let's look at Gossie and Friends Say Goodnight. Now, Gossie and Friends Say Goodnight is written by Olivia Denria, and it is published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. So, um, let's start with some dialogic uh, reading, and then we'll go on to our alphabetic knowledge as we're going through. So, you can say, um, Ollie sees Gertie. Gertie is a duck. Can you say duck? There's your prompt, and your child says duck. So you evaluate, say great. So you expand. Gertie is a yellow duck with blue boots. And you ask the child to repeat, that's your R. So now you can also incorporate your alphabetic knowledge in saying Gertie's name begins with a capital letter G. So you can get the child to trace the capital letter G. And as you read, what are you doing, Gertie? I stretch my legs before going to bed, she says. You can point out the lowercase letters G and let the child know that these are actually the same letter. They're just different shapes. Okay, so that's what we mean by alphabetic knowledge. Now, lastly, have you ever said to a baby or a child who is a pretty baby? Well, according to early literacy experts, this actually um, is reported to have value in it and it's called parentees. Uh, it helps parents and caregivers uh, connect to babies and young children and develop their language skills. So next time you say, who's a pretty baby? Just know that it's not only fun to do, but it also helps your child develop their language skills. And that's always a bonus when we can make reading and learning fun. So next time we're going to be talking about phonological awareness. I hope you've enjoyed today. Thank you.